Hey, what's up guys? What happened to Sundial Growers? Ticker symbol SNDL. This stock was at 20 cents back in November 2020 and surged to highs of almost $4 in February of 2021. Now it sits at just 90 cents and it keeps fluctuating back and forth between 90 cents going low to like 88 cents, almost a dollar. So what's going on with the stock? Let's find out more as we go deep into the laptop. Okay, they just released their 2020 financial results and all these numbers are gonna be Canadian. So just keep that in mind. Gross revenue increased by 10% to 73.3 million. The green alternative revenue came in at 13.9 million which is down 49% from the previous year. And the total revenue for 2020 was down 20%. Net loss for Q4 was 64.1 million, an improvement from last year's quarter, same period. For the total year 2020, it was a net loss of 239.7 million, which is an improvement from 2019, which was, they had a loss of 271.5 million. Their gross margins improved by an impressive 23%. The company's fourth quarter gross revenues on vape cartridges improved. The total revenue was 4.3 million, a 19% increase from the previous quarter. The company was able to improve their balance sheet, growing from 60 million of cash back in December 31st of 2020, and now they have 719 million in cash. They did this by raising 900 million between Q4 to Q1. And that means a lot of share dilution. Recently, they released this new prospectus, which they want to raise another $800 million, which will increase the common shares by another 520 million to make the total outstanding shares of two point, around 2.2 billion shares. That would increase the share count by 31%. So you can see here, this was how much the outstanding shares was back in December 31st, 2020. And their share count is up um, about 1500%. So another way to look at it is if you had 10% of this company a year ago, now you would have 0.6% if you had the same amount of shares. So share dilution is not good for the shareholders. It's better for the company as they continue to raise money. The reason Sundial's revenues is shrinking is because the market is just not large enough. There's a lot of green alternative companies out there and you know the Canadian market is just not big enough. One thing that a lot of these companies are relying on or hoping on is that the US will legalize the green alternative throughout the United States. And until then, Sundial as of most Canadian um, green alternative companies are just very expensive as you can see here the Ford price to earnings is negative 85.1 compared to Aferia's negative 359.1 so a lot of these companies aren't making the money to justify the price of their shares and you can see right here this online website is saying that it's overvalued by almost 200 percent which a fair value of 31. And these are what analysts are saying. They're saying it's a moderate sell, zero saying buy, once hold, three are sell. And these are the different price targets at low 45, average 74, and high of $1.40. And like I said before, one of the reasons is the share dilution. More shares that the company puts out, it dilutes it, and the company is just not worth the price of what it's trading at. And with more share dilution, if they continue to do it, you'll see that the share, the price will continue to go down. Okay, so right now they have around 700 million in cash. And now if they're able to do another share raise and they get the 800 million, that'll put them at 1.5 billion in cash. So now the thing is, what are they gonna do with all that money? And that is the big question for this company because they already paid off their debt. They have 700 now, and if they get the other 800 through share dilution, they'll have 1.5 billion. And it's gonna be really interesting to see what they decide to do with the money. They could hold on to that money and to see if the US will start to legalize the green alternative. As you see, more and more states are starting to legalize it. And we have senators that are really trying to push it on the federal level, because that's the most important thing. Because regardless if it gets legalized on the state level, 
it still has to be legalized on the federal level because the feds can always come into the states and say, no, this is not happening. So once it's legalized on the federal level, there'll be a lot more opportunities for a lot of Canadian companies to go into the US. And you know, that's not exactly cheap. So with Sundial only having 1.5 billion cash available, they'll be able to go in there and start getting things done as soon as possible. And the US market is big because 12% of Americans are active users. Nationwide sales increased 67% in 2020, and the support is at all time highs at 68%. The US market is estimated to be worth $61 billion. So as of the 14th, April 14, 2021, the short volume ratio is at 30%. Next week will be 420, which is, you know, could be a catalyst for the stock and you could see it move a little. Another thing that could be a catalyst for the stock is if it merges with another MJ alternative company. And that's what a lot of analysts think is gonna to start to happen in 2021, because like I said before, there's just a lot of competition. And when the market comes really saturated, nobody can really make profits. So a lot of these companies might start merging if it makes sense for them. And if they do merge, it will be a catalyst for Sundial, if it finds some company to merge with. As we saw, Aferia and Tilray start begin to merge. As you see right here, Aferia shareholders are going to vote on the 30th to see if they're gonna merge or not. And the deal is expected to create the world's biggest uh, green alternative company. So let's just look at the price action on the Sundial stock right now. Like I said, it ran up all the way up to $4. And that was during the really during the GameStop whole thing. So now as it comes back down to more reasonable levels, you know, the company did capitalize. That's that's what I like that they what they did is that they they were able to capitalize. And, you know, although share dilution is not good for the shareholders, like I said, it helps the company raise money. And when the stock price ran up, they decided to use that to their advantage and they were able to raise money pay off all their debts, but now it's time to see what they're gonna do with all that money. As we see here, it's getting beat down and it broke below the nine day moving average. And on the RSI, it is oversold. Um, but this stock, since with all the share dilution, it might continue to go down. Um, I would like to see some strength in the stock before I even think about taking a position. If we scroll back to last year, we can see that uh, 420 didn't really have a huge effect with the stock. It moved up a little, but it wasn't massive. So that might be a catalyst for the stock going into next week since it has been beat down so much. Everybody's gonna be, you know, hyped about these, the, all the green alternative companies. All right, so for me, I'm gonna add the stock to my watch list and I'm gonna see if it continues to get beat down. I might get a position because I like things cheap. I already have a green alternative stock in my portfolio, so I'm in no rush to add another. Um, as a lot of these companies are starting to get beat down right now. Like I said before, the problem is they need the US to open up their borders and open up, you know, making it legalized across the whole nation. So that's one of the obstacles that a lot of these companies are facing. But it's good that Sundial has a lot of cash on hand. It's just gonna be very interesting to see what they're able to do with that money. So do your own due diligence. Good luck investing, Stephen.